So I found this to be an extremely interesting piece of news, and it's positive news for Xbox. I think this really kind of goes along with what a lot of people were thinking we would get anyway, but nice to see that it could become a reality. And again, when we see these types of stories, I think it does get people excited again, and it could get people excited for the future of what's going to happen with Xbox. So, you know, again, these things are always kind of changing and we're always getting a, a lot of new bits and pieces of in information and things like that. But, you know, uh, I, I still take these things a day at a time when it comes to Xbox, you know. Uh, for me, anyway, I, I just think that it makes a lot of sense for uh, them to kind of do what this a rumor, which again, it's a rumor. Keep it kind of as you will. Uh, take it with a grain of salt right now. But, you know, if it turns out to be true, all the better. You know, I would hope so. It would definitely get Xbox gamers and probably gamers just in general excited again. So, you know, I want to get into the video. It should be a good one. What's up, everybody? I'm Crap Gamer. This is Crap Gamer Reviews. Back with another video. Thank you so much for checking it out. I appreciate it. Please like, share, subscribe. And, you know, I do daily gaming content, uh, at least one video a day. And so that's going to be something that I am looking forward to doing. And as I said before, uh, you know, if you're looking for someone that's kind of fun and entertaining, you found them. So anyway, this was very interesting because I feel like this would be a very smart thing for Microsoft to do. And like I said, it's just a rumor. So take it as that right now. Xbox gearing up to reveal handheld in 2025. So we're not that far out from 2025, by the way. So we don't know about you, but ever since an official Xbox handheld was first rumored, there's been a lot of people excited about it. Uh, you know, obviously we hope that the rumor is true, that it could be getting revealed in 2025. According to Windows Central, Jez Gordon, who said, you know, uh, some pretty interesting tidbits about it. And you know what I mean? I, I think that it's just interesting to me that they're kind of talking about this and, and the way that it's kind of come up. But he said, and I quote, A little birdie has told me that you might be seeing uh, genuinely new hardware next year, maybe of some form for Xbox. I don't think you're going to see hardware at the Game Awards in 2024, but I do think next year is a good year for revealing new hardware, especially hardware you can hold in the palm of your hand. So Gordon has pre previously kind of mentioned how Xbox handheld may be arriving alongside a successor console to the Xbox Series X, while well, Microsoft CEO Phil Spencer has teased a pretty awesome, has kind of teased a pretty awesome future for Xbox hardware as well. Nothing that's official yet, uh, and a lot can change in the span of a few months. So take it with a grain of salt. Uh, it would be kind of exciting to see how everybody reacts to that, especially since it looks like we're going to get the Switch too. Um, you know, and I, and I think that that's going to be something that we start to see uh, more and more as well. So if you didn't know. Uh, one of the original rumors was that Microsoft was going to launch a next-gen Xbox and with a handheld, uh, which was very interesting. There was a recent interview discussing Xbox's upcoming anniversary plans, and Windows Central believes that Microsoft will kick off the next generation with at least an Xbox Series X follow-up and a Steam Deck-like handheld console. They're similar to rumors that a lot of people have heard before, and Windows Central was throwing its weight around uh, behind this over the past in previous kind of ways and, and things like that. Uh, they said, we tended to leave believe based on our sources that Microsoft is planning the two-pronged approach to its next generation system. We'll drop outlets. Uh, you know, again, this is kind of what they said in fully. Xbox's 25th anniversary would fall on November 15th, 2026, which puts it firmly in range of new generation of Xbox hardware, potentially. Sony just revealed its mid-gen console, the PS5 Pro, which Xbox has passed on competing with this time around. Instead, it seems Xbox is full steam ahead with this next set of console hardware, which we tentatively believe, based on our sources, to include at least both a traditional style successor to the Series X and Microsoft's first real foray into Xbox handheld gaming with its own take on the Steam Deck. So, again, when the central ponders the thought of the next-gen launch could coincide with Xbox's 25th anniversary in fall of 2026, although that appears to be more speculative than anything else. Um, as for the form factor of these systems, um, there's a lot of similar things being uh, talked about and rumored from Microsoft, even if the company is being coy with specific details. Of course, Xbox has said that the team is building a super powerful home console, while boss Phil Spencer has strongly hinted at plans for a handheld device. 
So again, that was kind of that. Um, I think that it makes sense to be able to go out there and make, you know, both. I guess I, you know, listen, I, I don't, I don't think that realistically, um, it makes that much sense to, like, the handheld thing is a little bit difficult for me to understand uh, in certain ways because if you don't have exclusive, yeah, you got to have something that really pushes um, what you can do. So you know, again. If you're not really showcasing what you can do and you don't have exclusives, really, what's the point? Because, you know, again, like, I think a lot of people get all kind of, um, you know, uh, all kinds of, uh, uh, you know, all, all these type of people that are like, okay, well, I'm, I'm interested in this. And they think the Steam Deck or whatever is super successful. There's only really been one successful handheld um lately and that is the switch and that's really optional handheld you know like i play mine docked <laughs> you know and i think they did some kind of poll and it was like 75 percent of people play them docked i'm sure there's i mean obviously that's still millions that take them with you but you know overall i think like the steam deck sold like three million or something the aces rock sold five hundred thousand or whatever the units was but all together that's not very much i mean you think about it that the vita which was looked at as a massive failure and you know again it's one of those things where we look at this and we go okay well if the vita was a massive failure at selling 13 14 million then how can the rog and the steam deck be looked at as success stories right like so that to me is kind of one of the funny things when i hear people talk about these handheld things now i wouldn't mind an xbox handheld because i'm sure that there are some people out there that would get it but i just don't think that it's like this going to be this super popular thing especially given that microsoft realistically doesn't have a lot of exclusive content or anything like that to really drive people to it you know it's like i mean game pass i guess is okay um but still it's just one of those things where i fail to see realistically what would happen if um you know if, if that's something that, that that would actually happen for me i'd be more interested in the actual um you know the actual successor to the series x if now this is a big if um you know if they can make it something that is is going to actually be able to you know push boundaries and things like that uh, you know because i i've said this a million times the series x great console i love the series x it's definitely it's the best console out right now i don't have a ps5 pro right now but even the ps5 pro isn't really that much more powerful than the series x believe it or not and it could actually help unlock extra features because developers were avoiding using these extra features that the series x is capable of because they cater more towards the ps5 and you know that's just basically they don't want to make stuff look too bad on the ps5 and, you know, this was something that happened a lot with the Xbox One X as well, which was so much more capable than the PS4 Pro. And, you know, developers rarely took advantage of it. I can only remember, really, Rockstar taking full advantage of it, man. They gave us Red Dead Redemption 2 at 4K natively, and it was the only way to play it native 4K. Like, everywhere else was kind of blurry and not as nearly as good. It was a definitely, a, like, a definitive difference for the Xbox version. So, again, I think the PS5 Pro is cool you know I'm, I'm personally excited for it although i think you know maybe not everybody's super excited for it but you know i really feel like if microsoft is smart maybe do the xbox 360 surprise uh thing where they kind of you know just kind of hold their own thing and just go hey you know we here we go we have our own consoles and you know we're gonna launch with a, a good lineup and i think that's also key you know if you're gonna launch launch with an impressive lineup of games you know uh, I, I honestly do not understand why that happens so often where they launch with like not, especially in this day and age right like uh, you know you had years to get ready for for a launch of a console you know well in advance when you're going to launch it so why not have games ready to go like that never made much sense to me i don't know maybe you guys think differently than me i would love to hear the thought process uh but let me know are you guys interested in an xbox handheld I think it could be interested if handled handled right. Uh, it has to be able to play just the the games that we have now, like our library of games, right? Like your digital games, you should be able to download them and play them. None of this streaming crap. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. I certainly appreciate it. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, uh, and have a great day. Rack them up, fact them up, crap gamer them up, 
And, you know, I'll catch you guys next time or tomorrow or whatever. Thanks so much for watching. Crap Gamer, out.